Eh, guten Tag, Düsseldorf. Eh, buenos, buenas tardes a todos. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I am uh, Laura Pomes from Kimobil. First of all, I would like to thank Mexi for inviting us to this open house and for inviting uh, us to Düsseldorf uh, too. So we are going to present the water-based flexographic ins for plastic films. We, we have divided our presentation in three parts. In, fir pla in first place, we are going to explain a little bit uh, how is our company? In second place, we are going to explain the difference between water-based inks and solvent-based inks. And finally, we are going to present you the products we can offer in this moment in this range. Our company, Kimobil, was founded in 1960. Uh, we manufacture uh, different kinds of inks, flexo, screen printing, a champo sublimation. Our headquarters is in Barbera del Valles, in Barcelona, and we have presence in South America, in Africa, and Europe. We are certified in environmental and quality international systems. We have our own research and development and department and our own laboratory, so we can make tailor-made products for our customers, and we can give them pre and post-sales technical assistance in, the, in a very quickly way. So, as you know, flexography is a very flexible system of printing. We can print almost everything, cardboards, textile, paper bags, wall coverings, tissue, with water-based inks. Now we can print films with uh, water-based inks too. I would like to explain a little bit, a little technical explanation about the composition of an ink. And you are going to see that there's no big difference between a solvent-based ink and a water-based ink. In, fir in first place, we have a resin or a polymer, which is the heart of the ink, and it gives the physical properties. In second place, we have the solvents and thinners, which allow the ink to be liquid and to be applied. In this case, if the, if the ink is solvent-based, the thinner is solvent acetate or alcohol, as you all know. If it's water-based, this thinner is water. So in third place, we have the organic and inorganic pigments, eh, which give the, col the color to the ink. And finally, we have different additives. So we have talked before about solvents. These solvents, when you print a solvent-based ink, go, through, go di directly into the atmosphere. So really, we are throwing a very um, expensive product. These products uh, produ produ produce the ground level ozone and the greenhouse effect. So there are laws in different countries, in Europe, in America too, that they are beginning to limit these quantities of uh, VOCs or volatile organic compounds. In the case of water-based things, these compounds are very, are very, they have a very, very low uh, level. And then we have that the ink is not flammable, and then is non-hazardous. So why to change from solvent-based things to water-based things? In first place, as we have said before, because of the ecology. But in second place, a study made by BSF, which is called Ecology Meets Economy, and you can find it in the internet, has shown that the, the, uh, the complete system of water-based can save up to 15%. So it's important that if you decide to change, you have some factors to consider. In first place, of course, uh, the press spas, which are in direct contact with water-based things, must be, of must be made of stainless steel. In second place, you must know that dryers must be powerful enough to evaporate uh, water, because water is more difficult to evaporate than solvent. So a wastewater treatment is necessary. Workers must be trained to work with these water-based things. And these substrates must be pre-treated with corona discharge around 45, um, 45 dynes, uh, centimeter, or with a chemical tot, as in solvent-based. The advantages, well, we, we have been explaining them before, but we, we can see in this slide that Water-based things are not flammable, so the installation and insurance costs are lower. So they don't imply a fire risk under normal conditions. 
of storage, handling, and, and use. Workers do not inhale solvents, organic solvents. We have more stability during the printing processes. The VOC emissions are much lower, and it, it is not necessary the installation of expensive incinerators and their maintenance. Of course, always there are disadvantages too. We need a wastewater treatment. The price is a little bit higher because of the higher content, but in contrast, we know that the whole process must, can be cheaper. And water, water based things require, require an increase in drying capacity. We must say that these new, they are new produ products and they are continuously becoming better. So we, have, we would like to, to work together with you to improve the quality of these products. So we, the third part of our presentation is to, to tell you that we have already three different inks for these applications, which are Aqua Plus, Aqua Film, and Lamin Flex. Aqua Film is the optimal cost inks for PE films. It's used for supermarket bags. Aqua Plus, which is a high performance inks for PE and PP films. This is the ink which is going to run in the press and it is especially recommended for process works at high lineature. Finally, our last development is Lamin Flex, which is a high performance ink for printing OPP and PET film and that had to be laminated. So we invite you to accept the challenge, test the new developments in water-based things and you will be surprised. So thank you very much for your attention. If you have any question, you have Mrs. Avellana in Düsseldorf and Mr. Lopez here in Rio de Janeiro. Thank you very much for your attention.